I'm going to be honest. I don't really like the physics GRE. I took the physics GRE. I didn't even do well. I um, you know, probably wasn't ready for it. I don't really like the questions. I haven't looked in a long time. But I just want to try solving some and seeing what happens um, and see if it's fun. I don't know. So there's GRE practice questions online. I'm going to solve just this question, and then I'll make another video for this question, and let's just see what happens. Uh, so what else should I say? I, I, yeah, I'll give comments as I go through these. Okay, so let's look at this first question, number one. It says a net force FA, not a, not a vector. I mean, you can't really see that too well, but that's fine acts on object A, and a net force FB acts on object B. So two different forces, two different masses. The mass of object B is twice the mass of A, okay, and the acceleration of object B is twice that of object A. Which of the following is true? So let's just go ahead. I assume the net force is a one-dimensional problem, so I'm just going to write this. FA equals MA AA. That's what they said. They said it in one dimension, and FA is the net force. I also know FB equals MBAB. That's one of the things that's kind of important about all these kind of standardized tests is to write down what you know. Uh, next, I know, that's just true for any object. I know that uh, the mass of B is twice the mass of A. So the mass of B is equal to 2MA. I also know that the acceleration of object B, AB, is equal to twice that of AA. So now let's just go ahead and substitute these values in and get two equations. So we want a relationship between these two, FA and FB. That's what they're asking for. So if I rewrite FA, I'm going to put in this. I'm just going to leave it as it is. FA equals M-A-A-A. For F-B, I'm going to write that as F-B equals M-B, but I'm going to put in 2-M-A. And A-B, I'm going to put in as 2-A-A, -A, right? Because those are equal. So this is going to be equal to 4-M-A-A-A, which that M-A-A-A -A is F-A. So this is 4-F-A. So I get F-B equals 4-F-A. I think I did that right. So which of the following would be true? FB is 4, FA is right there. I, I, I mean, now let's just give some commentary. I will give some commentary. What does that test? Does that test whether you know F equals MA, F net equals MA? I, yes, it does. Um, does it test whether you can read the instructions correctly? Yes. Uh, and, and logically think through a problem? I guess so. I mean, it's not a terrible problem, but it's just kind of, I just don't get it. What's the point? Well, that's that. That was easy. Three minutes. Okay, I'll solve another problem in another video. And then if I like these, and if you like these, I can keep going. But, you know, let's just see what happens.